What the fuck is up, everyone? Prison Meddler here. Yeah, it's been a while since I did a single album review. As let me know, I'm reviewing Eminem's new album, The Death of Slim Shady. I can't pronounce, I can't pronounce the um, words that are in the parentheses, but I'll just say The Death of Slim Shady for now on. So, um, I know there's an additional word that's in the parentheses, so, yeah. As let me know, his new album came out yesterday. I re-listened to it multiple times, and yeah, as you may know, um, yeah, this is, I wouldn't say this is his final album, it's kind of, you know, as you may know, um, Eminem is in his 50s now, and he is still releasing albums in his 50s, as you may know, and, um, Coupe de Grace, I, 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 Coupe de Grace, that's an additional word in the parentheses. And as we know, um, this turns to be the fatal, the after ending of Slim Shady. Now, I know many people say that this is his true final album, but I honestly don't think that's the case. It's, it's probably the album, the final album with the Slim Shady ego. So, it could be near his retirement, I don't know. He did say that quite a while back, so just let me know. I think he did say that at some point like 10 years ago that he will retire five years after Marshall Mathers LP2, but no, they released four albums after that. He he did. So, yeah. Now, just let me know. Um, my final thoughts on this album, it's decent. I mean, I'm not going to complain a lot. Yeah, there's some moments I may complain that Eminem does have some cringy-ass lyrics here and there. There are some of the stupidest punchlines um, ever. Let's read them, shall we? Well, it's Friday night. No date for the prom. Just caught jacking off by your mom. Uh, like really, and there's another one, a little snap of the neck and slip of the disc. You pull up a chair and grab a seat and clap your hands and stomp your feet or stomp your hands and clap your feet. Flop around till you're looking like a slab of meat. You put your left foot back, you're right in front, tip your head back, let it touch your butt till you feel a little pop. Like what the fuck? Motherfuck. Fuck a duck. What the fuck? I'm stuck. Wow. Really? Plus bestiality references, too. And another one. Holy shit. Kate Jenner just flipped. Told me to knock this shit off and quit and get off her dick. And I've had a bad day. I just slapped Dre. Do not tell me what I can't say. That's gay. And not the good kind of gay, either. Where two men fuck each other and hate beaver. Wow, that's funny. Um, and I just got it made, like Special Ed say, word to Red Man, I'm a meth head. Used to get fed pet meds by my redneck stepdad till I beat his ass to death with a cassette desk. Okay, what the fuck? Nasty shit right here. Because I ain't stopping until everything gets red. C call this sex ed with a splash of necrophilia. Wow, that is nasty as shit, M. Knock. There's another one. Knock, knock, boo. Hey, why are you crying, shorty? Ooh, because I booed you. That's uh, pretty much of a preschool joke, ain't it? Well, bitch, I'm trying to get some head up this Saburo, but you have no clue what you're doing, do you? You fall asleep or something? Hello? You who? Wake up, fake slut. I'm out of here. Screw you. What? Did you drop dead in my lap? You call that head? I suck my dick better than you do. What? Um, and another P. Diddy reference, that's on the song Andy Christ. 
Um, next idiot asked me getting his ass beat worse than Diddy did uh, Cassie. The word Cassie was censored on that song. As only know. Um, he, he's, I mean, there's some few Eminem songs that had to be censored out. Because it's too offensive. But on the real though, she probably ran out the room with his fucking dildo. He tried to feel go punt her. She had to chill. Now put it back in my ass and get the steel toe. A lot of gay shit going on. I mean, nothing against gays. I'm, I mean, I said that before. Okay, another Nick or Felix reference. Performing sexual acts with a corpse. If they don't like it, like a Nick or Felix in the morgue. Fuck everybody. I don't appear... Of you, you was one of them children whose parents fed every meal to you on a platter and silver spoon. To you, to your drive when them rappers like Jada bring out the will in you, cause now my shit slaps harder than will will do. Word to Gorilla Glue. Sticking a clip in ooze because I've been itching to use looking like Nicholas Cruz. My trigger's happy. It's ticklish true. Travels bickle him too. We getting rude. Wow. School student references again, M. And as you may know, the song, um, as you may know, that features Back Bazaar, who is from D12. Guess who's back straight? There's another one. Where Bruce Jenner at? I want to fuck that hoe. Where's Megan the Stallion at? I want to suck that toe. He kind of killed it on that song. I'm not going to lie on that last verse. He did. I'm not going to lie. All right, I'll stop the lyrics right here. This is going to take too long. So, yeah. I mean, kind of cringe in a funny way. I'm not going to lie. Okay, maybe a little bit bad, but more funny than bad. So, um, yeah, as I mean, there's plenty of songs. There's a, plenty of songs that do hit here and there, like um, especially the song Antichrist. Brand New Dance, as I mean, know, uh, Brand New Dance was originally supposed to be on Encore, as I mean, know. So, um, yeah, from what I read... Yeah, this is meant to be on Encore. As you may know, it sounds a lot like Encore. That this was... Originally, the song was called Christopher Reeve. And there's a early leaked track list for Encore. Um, here, here's the original. It's on Between Puke and My First Single. Here. Check out the screenshot. It's right there. Yep, it's originally called Christopher Reeves, but it was scrapped out of the album because he died in 2004, the same year Encore came out. So, yeah, which is pretty much too soon to make a song about him. And, yeah, he bas yeah Eminem basically admitted that on Guilty Conscience 2. And we're going to talk about that song. My, I mean, I, I do like... Guilty Conscience too. My main problem, my slight problem with it is he should have put Dr. Dre in that song because the first part had Dr. Dre in it. This one did it. I mean, I can understand why. As we know, um, the first Guilty Conscience is mainly the, the angel, which is Dr. Dre, and the devil is Eminem. This one is basically back and forth. It barely has nothing to do with the first song. It's basically... The Guilty Conscience 2 is basically the final battle between Eminem and Slim Shady. And he kills Slim Shady, finally. Because Slim Shady has been after him for over 25 years. And then the songs after that, like Head Honcho. Oh man, that's probably my least favorite song on the album. I just did not like this song. It's kind of like a... Uh... It has, I mean, I don't know. It's just not, not, just not my favorite. That's all. Not very um, memorable. Again, I listened to this like five times, so I kind of know what I'm talking about. And then temporary is basically 
another song about Eminem's daughter Haley. Um, this was meant to be like a goodbye video to Haley, like since Eminem is in his fifties. You kind of feel like he's getting older now and he's gonna be leaving soon. It's kind of a, one of his most emotional songs ever. Um to Haley, as let me know, which is kind of an emotional type song. And then um, we brought back Ken Kniff from the Guess Who's Back skit after the Toby track, which is a nice return. That um, he hasn't been on an imminent. The last time he was, he was the last time we heard from Ken Kniff was um, Eminem's album, March, his 2013 album, Marshall Mathers LP two. That's the last time we heard from Ken Kniff. So on a skit, so that's nice to bring him back. But yeah, um, that's pretty much all the positives. Now there's some. Um, oh yeah, back to the things I have complained about. They still have some trap beats like he did from their last three albums, but not as much he did. That's kind of like my main complaint. I am not a fan of the Eminem doing trap songs. I'm sorry, I'm just not a fan of it. So. Yeah, I just do not like that at all. Um, but anyway, yeah. And let's talk about the bonus tracks. Uh, Kyrie and Luca, which features two chains, and li like my shit. I'm gonna be honest. I I take I take it back on um the bad one track. I, I I take that back. Like my shit is the worst song from the album, and I'm glad that's a bonus track. That song fucking sucks. I'm sorry. That song was terrible. And good thing it's not on the album, so yeah. But Kyrie and Luca, not a bad song. I'm not gonna complain. I mean, you don't go back to the past where I was impersonating him at one point. Just don't. But anyway, move on. And yeah, and somebody saved me track, which features Jelly Roll. I'm sorry, that's a boring track. I'm not gonna lie. I just don't like that track. That track bores me. It's basically another song about Haley, which he did it twice. I mean, temporary is already good enough. So, they, they should have ended the album with the Ken Kniff skit. Uh, they they should have ended the album like that, and that's just it. Because he, he, Ken Kniff is funny. He's funny as hell. He's like the most underrated character ever. So, yeah, guys. Um, the album in general, I'll say it's an improvement. But is it one of Eminem's best albums? No. It's kind of like, kind of around the mid-tier album. Or a little bit above. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to give this album a 3 out of 5. Um, I I would give us some credit for this album improving more. It's definitely better than a god-awful side B uh, music to be murdered by um, B-side album. That should have never existed and this one improved majorly, so I'll give it that, but it's it's not great. It's not like a masterpiece or anything like that. It's just decent at best overall. I mean it's not quite a strong decent. It's more like but it's not it's not close to a three point five, but it's not close to a two point five. But it's just it's just a three out of five. That's just it. So yeah. Um it's a solid album. I mean, I don't know. If I want a new Eminem album, the next Eminem album or not, I don't know. He's kind of predictable with releasing albums nowadays. Since four years after Mathers LP2, he put out Revival. And then less about... Eight months after Revival, Kamikaze came out. I mean... Came, I mean, Revival came out on December 15th, 2017, and Kamikaze came out on August 31st, 2018, which is eight months after Revival came out. Or nine. I'm sorry. My math sucks. Okay? My math sucks ass. So, and then about a year and a half later, Music to be Murdered by was out, and he hasn't released any albums until this album, the album that came out yesterday. So, there's that. So... Yeah, Eminem is pretty unpredictable with the release, especially the surprise albums. His last two albums were surprise releases, so yeah. But anyways, guys, um, it's kind of improvement. I mean, Revival is terrible, easily Eminem's worst album. Music Be Murdered By is pretty bad too, and Kamikaze isn't great either, but 
it's better than Revival and Music to be Murdered By, in my opinion. I mean, Kamikaze is an alright album. It's, I mean, it's better than... Again, I do think it's better, but it's still not great. But anyways, guys, yeah, that's my review for um, The Death of Slim Shady. Um, what are your thoughts on this album? Let me know. And yes, um, so you guys may know, I did a reviewing every Eminem album about a month ago. So if you want to check that video out, the link will be in the description. And I'm going to go ahead and get the fuck out of here. So I'm out.